two dynamic actors, two fascinating takes. Let's have some fun. I'm Jeff Savage, and this is Take Two. Hello, welcome to Take Two, the show where we learn all about the life of the working actor. I'm your host, Jeff Savage, and today we have a special treat for you. Listen closely, because this episode is all about the secrets of commercial actors. Commercial acting is a genre that requires a little bit of a different technique and skill set than regular acting, often uh, requiring an actor to adopt a clear message and a strong personality with minimal dialogue and props. There are many roads that lead to acting in commercials, and today I'd like to introduce you to Zykeia Austin and Lisa Crossway two dynamic actors who have found their way in front of the camera from different directions. Zykeia, Lisa, welcome to Take Two. Thank you. Great to have you here. Yeah. So I want to uh, talk to our audience about the secrets of commercial acting and uh, your prime examples of uh, just the type of guests I want to talk about because both of you come from different backgrounds and different directions in how you arrived uh, to becoming you know, commercial actors. But if you can, I want you to introduce yourselves to our audience and uh, tell us what got you interested in commercial acting. I want to start with you, Zykeia. Okay. Well, my name is Zykeia Austin, and I was actually modeling at the time. And um, different people were, you know, seeing my look as I was modeling. And it kind of just transferred into commercial modeling um, at the time. Um, I had an agency that was interested in me, the Klutz, and they specialized more in commercial uh, modeling. So it was just a great opportunity for me. I, I love it. I enjoy it. Um, I, I still want to do more high fashion, but I'm content with what I'm doing now, and I'm still working towards that goal as well. That's awesome. That's <laughs> yeah. awesome. Lisa, um, how did you uh, get interested in uh, becoming a commercial actor? Well, I have always wanted to act, and I'm now retired from teaching after teaching high school Spanish, English, etymology, mythology, and English as a second language. Oof. I have been fascinated by the story you can tell as an actor, whether you are in a commercial, a short film, a feature-length film, or a print ad. That has just been very fascinating to me. Well, it's fantastic. And uh, just going back to both of your introductions, uh, Zykeia, your introduction to commercial acting was through modeling, and yours uh, was essentially from a background in teaching and wanting to you know, step into the acting world. Uh, but tell me, do, um, what type of professional training do both of you have, if any, like uh, in getting into the agency as a model? Were you required, uh, Zykeia, to take specific acting classes and, uh, and things like that? Well, I haven't taken um, many acting classes. I've done um, improv, several classes of those, but also I've had uh, one of like my colleagues that's in acting assist me. So I've had a lot of people like do a couple of like Zoom meetings where they're like just inform me on like self taping auditions on how to be an actor and techniques. So that's what I've had. Got it. Got it. Got it. Lisa, uh, any uh, specific training that you've gone through to be a, a, a commercial actress? I have. Since I don't have a, a strong background in drama, I majored in English in college. I've taken quite a few classes that have helped me tremendously. Wendy Pennington Smith's improv classes. I've taken quite a few classes at Fort Worth Actor Studio. Fantastic. I am studying with Paula Goldberg right now. And uh, I think every, every type of class that I've taken has really helped me. And self-taping is an art and a science. <laughs> <laughs> Very true, sure. especially after COVID, self-taping is becoming more normal. It used to be you would walk into a casting office and be uh, sitting in a, you know, in a room with a hundred other people who are all there competing for that role. Self-taping kind of takes you out of that and uh, you know, lets you focus on the, uh, on the audition in a more intimate way, in that, in that, in that way. But what types of projects uh, have you both uh, been in before? Uh, in the acting world in general. Uh, Zykeia? Um, my first movie was VMF, and it was filmed in Dallas. I was an extra. I, pl I was just like a zombie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just, I think I had a, like, a foam weapon 
which I was just trying to use to defend myself. It was a lot. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, you know, being on set, it's typically long hours, um, but as soon as you're needed, like, you get to get engaged and act out, and it's just so exciting to be a part of something big and then actually see it. So I've done, I've done that. I've done a couple of music videos. I did a um, Leonard Cohen music video. So he's a famous uh, Canadian uh, singer, and in there I was just acting. Sometimes it's just like small gestures and like a lot of facial expressions for me because you know I have these freckles, so. Uh, I always get requests for a lot of those when I'm acting. Okay, great, great, great. Lisa, what type of uh, projects have you acted in uh, in your acting career so far? Well, as far as commercials go, I've done a spot for Love That Door and also a regional commercial in Austin for Greater Texas Federal Credit Union. I've done a few short films. There's one that I uh, was the lead in called Sedalia. It's kind of a horror one, but not, not gory horror. <laughs> um, I've done quite a bit of background work. Most recently, I did a background role as a Civil War nurse for Bass Reeves. Okay. So I'm just trying to do everything I can possibly do, including some print ads. Uh, I'm on a veil right now for one that I won't mention since I don't know if I got it yet, but that's always exciting to see yeah. that you can do a lot of different things to tell the story. Absolutely. And it's also a testament to the fact that commercial actors dabble in all sorts of different acting uh, acting realms, whether it's modeling, music videos, short films, and, uh, and extra work and background work. That's, uh, that's fascinating. Um, but uh, what are, would you say, some of the most valuable skills uh, that you have as an actor, uh, Zykea? Um, I want to say, for me, taking direction. Um, also, I can cry, cry on the spot. Oh, wow. That's, cool. that's, a, that's a skill. That's a, yeah, that, is a that skill. one's pretty good, yeah. So I really like that one. <laughs> 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 I haven't had the chance to actually use it, but, um, yeah, or it's seen, but... That's a good skill. Yeah, you know, you can definitely tell when you're watching a movie or a TV program when the actor or the actress can cry and mm -hmm. when it's just splashing water in their face right. and cutting back to their... You know, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But that's, that's impressive. Uh, Lisa, same question Absolutely. Wow. Well, definitely I agree with taking direction uh, well and also just some perseverance and creativity and flexibility. You know, looking at your options, being flexible if someone tells you to say it a different way or have a different emotion in your delivery. I think that's something that is uh, a valuable skill. Got it, got it, got it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want you to stick around because after this break, we have a fun showdown face-off that we're going to call the ultimate bite and smile showdown. I'm going to pit these two guests against each other to see who has the best bite and smile. You're not going to want to miss this. Stick around. Hi, I'm Jeff Savage, marathon runner and author of the number one Amazon bestseller, Savage Resilience, Conquer Adversity and Be Your Own Hero. In this powerful book, you'll discover correlations between what it takes to finish a marathon and what it takes to be successful in any long range goal you may have. Order your copy of Savage Resilience today on Amazon or by visiting jeffsavageonline.com. The audiobook is also available on Audible and the iTunes store on Apple devices. I'm Jeff Savage, and I encourage you to conquer adversity and be your own hero. This is Larry. And this is Mark. Larry is Mr. Podcast. He's launched dozens of successful podcasts, and he's the editor-in-chief of Podfest Messenger and co-promoter of Podfest. Mark is Mr. Video Marketing. He's produced thousands of hours of broadcast and commercial media over 30 years, and he combines that with expertise in marketing strategy. We're excited to join forces to offer custom multimedia branding so that businesses can reach and grow their audience. Through polished broadcast quality content, you can position your brand in a creative and engaging way, amplifying your impact. So we've designed a 16-week process. A completely done-for-you solution. Strategy, development, production, launch, distribution, support, and monetization. Over six hours each of broadcast quality video and audio content in multi-channel formats. So check out all of the details at multimediabranding.now.site and fill out the contact form. You can also follow the links in the comments or reach out to us directly. 
Amplify your impact with custom multimedia branding. Welcome back to Take Two for our fun segment here that we are going to let our guests <laughs> face off against each other in the ultimate Bite and Smile showdown. Now, if you don't know what a Bite and Smile is, it is that iconic advertising uh, methodology where the actor or the model on the commercial takes a bite of something and reacts to it in a very positive way. And to make the audience feel how delicious or how awesome this product is. And so today, I'm gonna have Zykea and Lisa take a bite of this delicious chocolate chip cookie, but I'm gonna give them three different reactions that they have to convey uh, in taking a bite of this. So it might not be a bite and smile all, always, but this will be fun. So Zykea, Lisa, the first uh, impression that we're gonna do here is the bite and smile. This is the most delicious cookie that you have ever had in your entire life. So, oh, Zykea. <laughs> great, great, great. <laughs> All right, Lisa, let's see. This is the most delicious cookie that you have ever eaten. That's great. That's great. That's awesome. All right. So next bite. I want this cookie to take you by surprise. The flavor that you are experiencing is not what you expected. Zykea? <laughs> Lisa? Okay, great, great, great. Now, as a subversive element here, uh, I want this cookie to remind you of the saddest day of your life. So this is going to be the saddest cookie that you have ever eaten. So, thank you. <laughs> The somberest cookie <laughs> in the web of planet. I Earth. understand. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, this uh, the bite and smile is one of those techniques that even as an as an actor in an audition might be required to do on the spot for a casting director. So the question is to you uh, both: How do you prepare for an audition that you have coming up? Um, usually. I do like before an audition, I do like 10 minutes of meditation. Okay. Um, and then I look at, look over the script, um, if it's dialogue or not. And then I just try to focus and get into character. Um, and then I'll get into like my uh, mirror in the bathroom and then I'll practice a couple of times even before I start filming. Because I would tend to like film and film and film, but I feel like. I need to get my practice out of the way first, and then and then I just record. I just go from there. <laughs> great, great, great. Lisa, you've received the uh, casting specs and uh, you know in a in a sample script. How do you prepare for an audition? Well, it really depends on what type of audition it is. If it is self taping, I do something similar to what Zykea said. I do some meditation. I usually use um, my boyfriend to <laughs> be the reader if I need to have someone else reading for me in a self tape. But I have an in person audition on Friday, so I look to see if there are any sides. If not, I just try to imagine what they will ask me to do, whether it's an improv or some sort of. Um, 
pantomime. You just never know what people will ask you to do when you have an in-person audition and there are no sides. Indeed, and being uh, in having improv training is very important because if you are asked to do something, you know you gotta. It's yes and. It's not right. well. I don't really do that. It's uh, we're going to give it our best go, and we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. So uh, I want to give our audience an opportunity to, uh, if I may, to uh, get to know a little bit more about you. Uh, where can our guests find more information about Zykea Austin? Um, so it'll be Model Zykea. It'll be for um, IG, Facebook, uh, Snapchat, and also TikTok will be Model dot Zykea, but Model Zykea. Okay, great, great, great. Lisa, Lisa Crossway, how can guests find out more about you? Well, I have an Instagram account, and it's at Lisa Love Cross, but it's L-I-S-A-L-O-V-C-R-O-S with one S. I also have a Facebook account under Lisa Crossway. And for people in the biz, I have an Actors Access account, Casting Networks, and also backstage, Lisa Holloman Crossway or just Lisa Crossway. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for joining us for this special uh, look into the secrets of commercial acting. Uh, my name is Jeff Savage. I'm your host of Take Two. You can find us on Binge Network, on our YouTube channel at Sync Lab Media Studio, or by downloading the Sync Lab Media Network app on your smart TV, on Roku, on Amazon Fire, Google Play, or Apple TV. And uh, come and check out our, our uh, playlist of previous episodes. Uh, we are streaming all episodes at this time to learn all about the dynamic field of acting. Come back and see us again soon.